page 343, section 5.3. Here we're going to do factor the pol polynomial. It's also called the factoring of the difference of two square. Let's look at number 8. Number 8, we have k squared minus 9. To do this, let me show you an example over here. Okay, example. When we're doing this, the first num number must be something squared. Second number must be something squared. The middle sign must be minus. If it's plus, it doesn't work. So the middle sign must be minus. So to do this, follow three steps. Step one, you draw two empty parentheses. Step two, here you're going to put a plus and the minus. Step three, Okay, let me do this. Step three, let me do the plus minus sign. Step three, here we have x squared and the y squared. So x in each one, y in each one. So that's how, how, that's how we call the difference of two square. Okay, now let's look at number eight. Number eight here, k squared, we're going to keep the k squared. We're going to keep the minus. We're going to change nine to a three square. Now we have square, square, minus, k squared, 3 squared, and minus in the middle. So we're going to use the formula, draw two parentheses, one is plus, one is minus. Now here you see the k, okay, k, k squared, k, we're going to put that in each one. Then the 3 here, 3 squared, so 3 in each one, and that's our answer. Now let's look at number 10. Number 10, we have 36 n squared minus 25. Again, we want to change something squared. 36 is a 6 squared. We're going to keep the n squared. 25 is 5 squared. So here we have square squared minus. So we're going to draw two parentheses. One is plus, one is minus. My first number is 6 squared n squared. So 6n in each one. Next, 5 squared. So you put 5 and 5 in each one then that's the answer. Now, let's look at number 14. Number 14, we have 2, 4, 3, x to the 4, minus 3, t, 4. For this book, if it is common factor, you need to factor out the common factor, okay? So 3, 2, 4 is not a perfect square. So we want to see, can 3 go into 3, 2, 4? So 3 times 81 is equal to 3, 2, 4. So here you can see my common factor is a 3. So here I'm going to take out the 3. So 3 goes out. Then inside the parentheses, I have an 81 x to the 4 minus t4. Now keep the 3 outside. 81 is a nice square. Then x to the 4, every time you see 2 to the 4th power, you're going to change to 2 times 2. Minus t to the fourth power, 4 also change to 2 times 2. So here, keep the 3, then draw 2 parentheses, 1 is plus, 1 is minus. So here you can see, for the first one, I have 9, so put 9 in each one. The 2 x squared, so x squared in each one. Then here you see I have the t square, so t square, one here, then one over here. That's not the answer, okay, because keep the three, okay, keep the nine x square plus t square, change the second parentheses over here, change the nine to a three square, keep the x square minus t square. So for the second parentheses, you see, we can do the, we can use the formula one more time. The reason we cannot use the first Parenthesis. Okay, the reason we cannot use this parenthesis right here, you see, because what the middle sign is plus. The formula doesn't work with plus. The only the formula only work with minus. So here, the second parenthesis, you're gonna use the formula one more time. So we're gonna use a plus and minus again. So put a three x in each one. Then next you put a t and t in each one. Now let's look at number sixteen. Number 16, we have h plus k squared minus 9. Now, the first number, h plus k squared, that's what we want. We want something squared. Keep the minus, change it 9 to a 3 squared. So here we have the first number we have squared. So you have squared, squared, and minus. So we can use the formula. So draw two parentheses, 
one is plus, one is minus. My first number is what? H plus K. So put H plus K for the first number. My second number is three. So put three and three. And that's our answer. Now let's look at number 20. Number 20, A to the four minus six to five. Every time you see to the fourth power, okay? Every time you see to the fourth power, you need to change to two times two. Six two five will be 25 squared. If you don't know what number is, is a square, so you take that six two five, okay? So use six two five, take the square root, so it give you a 25. For example, for another example, if you have one two one, you don't know what square is that. So take the square root of that, that gives you 11, so it'll be 11 squared. Okay, very easy, okay? So here we have square square minus, so going to all two parentheses, one's plus, one's minus. My first number will be what? A squared, A squared. So A squared in each one. My second number is what? 25 squared, so 25 in each one. Okay, now keep the A squared plus 25. For the second parenthesis, keep the A squared Minus 25 going to change to 5 squared because over here we can use the formula one more time. Okay, so it'll be a squared plus 25 for the second parenthesis. You're going to do the formula one, one more time. So draw two more parentheses. One's plus, one's minus. Now over here, we're going to put a in each one, then put 5 in each one. So remember that. Okay, remember that every time. Okay, remember that every time if is to the fourth power, like over here. At the end, your answer will be three different parentheses at the end, okay? If it's square, you don't have two parentheses at the end. So if it's to the fourth power, your final answer will be three parentheses.